Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger, and I'm here to do a love reading for the sign of Aries. I hope everyone is doing well. I've already shuffled the deck, so let's get started. The overall energy for the Aries Collective is Nine of Swords. Someone is um, suffering from some sort of anxiety. Okay, let's um, get some more cards and see where this goes. For the Aries Collective, love. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. Somebody is ready to fight this love. <laughs> they want the white picket fence. <laughs> Somebody ready to fight. The Ten of Cups. They want that that happy that happy life. The kids, they want it all. The Ten of Cups is total contentment. I mean, uh, overall love, happy family. Just that country life with the four of wands. Yes. So why are you feeling anxious, Aries? The Knight of Wands, they coming in with a lot of passion. Wow. What's really going on? Why is the Five of Wands here for the Aries Collective? Why is that five of wands here for Aries Collective? Page of Swords. Give me one more, please. Okay, so the Five of Wands speaks of um, gain and, uh, of course, fighting. But what I'm seeing here is, um, and it talks about um, anxiety also. Someone's having some sort of, uh, they could be, I'm seeing like two storylines. Like the five of wands is like, it, it, if it's if it's in reference to gain, the, the, the page of swords is talking about you standing in your power and with the justice that you're going to win, okay? You're going to gain some kind of court battle, okay? Now the second storyline that I see is the, the five of wands is uh, someone that's uh, anxious, they're suffering from anxiety. And they're cutting something off so that they can get their balance. Okay? Whew. The lovers. Why is this here? For the Aries Collective. For the Aries Love. Oh, happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves that, that recognizes this day and are being safe out there, for real. Be safe, y'all. Why is the lovers here for the Aries Collective? This Gemini energy. And that's what I think it is, because I'm not feeling nothing. So Aries, this is talking about um, a Gemini energy that's your soulmate, okay? The Four of Wands, why is that here for the Aries collect? That was going off the table. So somebody's uh, planning to have this life, this country life, with you, Aries, or you with them. The Ten of Cups, why is that here? Okay. They definitely want it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Aries, they're planning on coming to get you. They can't see their lives with nobody else but you, Aries. That is absolutely beautiful or scary. You know, you know your story. I don't know your story. <laughs> and they're going to come in passionately. Why is this night with Hans here? <laughs> they're stressing you out. That's <laughs> what. So that's what the overall energy is, Nine of Swords. 
stressing you out of her laughing at you. These cards, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. So why is the Knight of Wands here? For the Aries Collective. Why is that why is that here? Okay, they want to come in, but with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it's saying that they're stagnant. They're they're holding back from coming in. And they really, really want this. <laughs> I can oh man, and they like they really want it and they nervous. So I think that the five of the five of wands is about anxiety. And they're watching you because they want they want justice. They want they want that. They they want you. <laughs> Aries. And it's this. It's, it, it wouldn't even give me a clarifier for the lovers. It's that Gemini, your soulmate, whoever that is. It's a soulmate if it's not a Gemini, okay? Wow. What's at the bottom? Four swords. Yeah, they're in prayer. They think you're absolutely ravishing. They want a new beginning. The Empress also s talks about a new beginning. So that's what they, they, they want this. And they're planning it. Scorpio. Yes, they are. I mean, not Scorpio. Aries, please forgive me. Okay, let's see what it is that this person is talking about. Let's use the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what they're talking about. Aries. What is really going on? <laughs> what is really going on here? They like, they not, they, I mean, they are really like bent out of shape. Like, and, and watching you. Because they want, they, they want a second chance. I don't know what happened the first time. But they really, they, they really want a second chance. Or you. Switch the roles as need. Okay. Because somebody is stressing with that Nine of Swords. Any messages from uh, this uh, stalker to the Aries? Finding out the truth crushed me. They found something out about you. Yeah. Got them all in their head. Anything else? Okay. I want you. I told you. This person wants you. Yeah. I feel you even though we are apart. I knew y'all wasn't together. They coming back for you. Yeah, they coming back for you. Wow. Eric. Yeah, they found out the truth. Find out the truth crushed me. Yeah, so wow. I want to be more than friends. That's what they saying to you, Aries. I wish I had treated you better. You know, I had, that had to come out. All the stress and stuff that they going through. Wow, that's deep. I can't stop thinking about you at the bottom. Wow. All right. Let's see if we can get some advice for you. No, no. Let's do. Let's use the Kipper deck and see um, what the Kipper might say. How is this going to turn out when they come back towards you? Or let's find out if they're going to come back towards you anyway. How about that? Are they going to make a move? Or are they going to keep sitting back watching you like a creeper? I'm just saying, I ain't calling nobody a creeper, but come on now. We we supposed to be grown. Where they do that at? I guess the men are hunters. They're natural hunters. Yeah, but that's still creepy. All right. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Any messages for the Aries Collective regarding this reading? I mean, this spirit. What's the outcome? Is the do you have an outcome for this? Is 
imprisonment. Ooh, what's really going on? Ooh, wait. What is really going on? Oh, we're going to have to look that up. So somebody's going to act up and end up in jail. No, don't do no stuff like that. This, this ain't the first 48 or snapped or none of the mother shows. Daily motives. Come on now. Community. Anything else? Okay. Let's take a look at this. The first thing that came out was, oh, where did that come from? The official person was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's a, that, that could be a police officer or something. Police officer, fireman. Let's see. Imprisonment, what number is that? 29? I'm not going to read the whole thing. We're just going to try to find the, the part that... Sticks with goes with the reading. Okay, this is a card of being trapped, whether in a relationship, job, or situation. It speaks of fear, loneliness, and isolation. When combined with card 23, no, let me see what that card was that fell off the bottom. It was 22. And combined when combined with the card 23, what did it say? Where, where I'm at? Oh, the courthouse card. This card is a literal. Uh, hold on, I gotta get to the other page. Prison or jail time. Okay, so when imprisonment is with 23, 29 and 23 together, it talks about literally being in jail. Okay, so this card is just about being trapped. Whether in a relationship, job, or situation. Okay. So what was community again? Everybody in your business. You trapped in this relationship and everybody knows it. Aries, you or that person, that person may be, that everybody knows that, that this person that's over here stressing and stalking, they, everybody in the community knows that this person is stuck on you. Except you. That's what I'm seeing here. Everybody knows except you. That's the name of this reading right here. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get, let's get, I'm sorry. Let me get you an advice card from the goddess oracle deck. Goddess, African goddess rising deck. Okay. All right. Let's uh, see if the goddesses have any advice for you. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the neighborhood in y'all circle or whatever. Everybody know that this person's still stuck on you except you, Aries. And they too scared and anxious to come forward because they know what they did. Like they said, I wish I had treated you better. Hmm. Better get it together, pimping. If they do come back, they better, oh, wait, you all stops. Ain't no half-stepping at all. None at all. Am I right or am I right? That's what I thought. <laughs> Any advice for the Aries Collective? Any advice for the Aries Collective? Any advice for the Aries Collective? Yeah, this person is really nervous. Let me tell you what's going on in my mouth. It's just like really, really dry. I'm like, it's almost hard for me to swallow. Like the nervousness type, not like somebody choking me type. It's like I'm nervous as ever. So you make this person really nervous. They probably see you and just can't get up the words to say nothing to you because they don't want you to embarrass them in front of their peoples. Hmm. Oh, what, some, what, why is it doing that? Tell me to slow down again. This deck be telling me to slow down, man. This is the weirdest deck ever. I love it. Okay. Joy. Such a beautiful card. Okay. 
So you deserve to have joy. That's the way I'm going to take that card. You deserve to have joy and peace in your life. You don't have to be dealing with some immature energy that don't know they messed up and just can't be a man and stand up and say that they messed up when they know they messed up. You don't need that. We got so many things going on in this world today that if you don't know how to talk and speak up and, and say what you mean and mean what you say, ain't nobody got time for that. That's that's your reading because um, nothing else comes out coming out of here. So Aries, somebody's really watching you, but I'm picking up like a childish energy because they're not moving forward. They want to come forward. They feeling all this passion and love, but they not because they they trapped in their head or in a relationship or something. I don't know. You know your story. But yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody waiting on nothing. Ain't nobody waiting on, on, on nobody to do nothing. And you just keep your head on the swivel and make sure this person don't lose it and try to come for you in no negative way. I didn't see nothing like that because they're really in love with you. But I'm just saying, these people, yeah. But like, share, and subscribe. Good luck with this Aries. And um, I will see you guys for the weekend reads, all right? Take care.